I'd like to know what you're going to do when you retire from boxing. <laughs> I think, uh, I think he's probably taking the last count at the moment. I'll, I'll do my best to wake him up. Just sleep. You. That's all I'm going to do. That's all he wants to do when he retires. Now, when I retire from boxing, I really don't know. I want to say something right here. You all might, this might make you all think. Life is not really long. Let's say the average person, 30 years old. If you're 30 years old, you are not but about seven years old. How can I prove it? Add up all the seven, eight, nine hours you slept for 30 years. Out of 30 years, out of all the nights, last night when you went to bed and woke up this morning, you don't remember a thing. You've been unconscious for about eight years. If you're 30 years old, you slept about eight years. Okay. How much traveling have you done in 30 years? From the television station to home to another country to another city to school to church? You've probably traveled two years your life or spent just getting back and forth to where you're going. So there's eight years of sleeping, two years of traveling, there's 30 years out of your life before you accomplish anything. How long do you sit in school? In America, we stay in school from the 12th grade to, from the first grade to 12th grade. Same here? Yeah, virtually. Six hours a day? Yeah. Six hours a day for 12 years, break it down, you sit in a classroom for three years without leaving. Okay, two years of traveling, eight years of sleeping, three years of school. How many movies have you went to? How many wrestling matches? How much entertainment? How many movie theaters, live plays, baseball games? Probably two years of entertainment. So by the time a man, you older people know him, bear witness what I'm saying, by the time you have children, by the time you have uh, made a way for your children, by the time you've paid for your home, you're pushing 60 years old. So life is real short. So you add up all your traveling, add up all your sleeping, add up all your school, add up all your entertainment, you've probably been half your life doing nothing. So what am I, I'll, I'm 35 years old, 30 more years I'll be 65. We don't have no more influence. We can't do nothing much at 65, your wife will tell you that. So what I'm saying, when you're 65, when you're 65, ain't too much more to do. So. Did you know I'll be 65 in 30 more years? In those 30 years, I have to sleep nine years. I don't have 30 years of daylight. I have to travel back to America, take six, seven miles. All my traveling, probably four years of traveling in the next 30 years, about nine years of sleeping, television, movies, entertainment, about three years of entertainment. Out of 30 years, I might have about 16 years to be productive. So it's how we can all break individual lives down. What am I going to do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Owning real estate, going in business, teaching boxers, that won't get me to heaven. How many here believe there's a supreme being, believe there's a God? How many believe there's some power that made the sun, the moon, and stuff? How many believe that this stuff didn't just come out here, somebody wiser than us made it? How many believe there's a God? How many believe there's not a God? All right. Believe there's not a God. All right. If I told you, you who don't believe in God, if I told you that this glass sprang into existence, this glass made itself, no man made this glass, would you believe it? Would you believe I just told you this thing made itself? No. 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 When I tell you, you wouldn't believe it, right? No. I, that, that some, somebody's doubting it, yeah. So I'm, no, I'm giving I'm you the saying, answer. That that's what she wouldn't believe it. If I turn on this television station, popped into existence. It just, no man made it. You said Muhammad Ali's crazy. All right. Well, if this glass can't make itself, if I told you those clothes you have on wove themselves, nobody created them, those clothes made themselves, you wouldn't believe it. But if your, if your clothes didn't make itself, if that glass couldn't make itself, if this building didn't make itself, then how did the moon get out there? How did the stars and Jupiter and Neptune and Mars and the sun, how did nature, how, how did all this come here if didn't know why is something planning to make it?